In this video, we add an MSI package to Intune and deploy it to Windows clients. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Zeraldos. In this video, we review the different types of packages we can deploy to a Windows client with Intune, then deploy an MSI application. Before that, please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for new content. That helps others discover this channel. Check out my courses on Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365 with Intune Management, and Hybrid Identities with Windows AD and Azure AD, now Entra ID. Links are below. Sign up for my newsletter while you're at it. And thank you channel members, your support is appreciated. Coming up, we're going to upload an MSI package to Intune and deploy it to a Windows client. First, let's talk about application deployments with Intune. This video is on deploying applications to manage Windows 10 or Windows 11 clients. We call this mobile device management or MDM. If the device is not managed by Intune, a personal device, for example, we could use mobile application management or MAM instead. With mobile device management, we can push applications and configuration settings to devices. There are a few types of applications we can deploy to a Windows client and it depends on the version and edition of Windows. For example, Windows Home, Pro, or Business, Surface Hub, or S Mode do not all support the same application types. For Windows 10 and Windows 11 Enterprise and Pro, the supported app types are Microsoft Store Apps and Store for Business, Microsoft 365 Apps for Windows 10 and later, Windows WebLink, and Windows Win32 Line of Business Apps. The example used for this video is a Line of Business MSI application. This is a common format for off-the-shelf and in-house developed applications. Just like compliance policies and configuration profiles, we can assign applications to users or device groups. We have three options when assigning applications. We can make it required. This option will install the application and users can't manage the application once it's installed. We can make the application available. The user can select and install the application from the Intune company portal with this option. Finally, we have the uninstall assignment type. Removing a group from a required assignment won't uninstall the application. We use the uninstall assignment type to remove apps from the client. Finally, when working with app deployments, keep in mind that it can take time for the application to install. The client must be powered on, online, and it must sync to get the assignment. This can take hours in some scenarios. Also, the time to deploy can depend on internet bandwidth of the client. Coming up, we'll add an MSI package to Intune, box it PDF reader for this example, and then create a required assignment for a Windows client. Let's log into the portal and get started. Here we are in the Azure portal. Let's start by uploading our first package. We'll go to apps, then all apps. Add an app. We have several different application types. For this example, we'll select line of business apps under other. We have some information on the different package types available. We'll select line of business apps. For this example, we'll deploy Foxit Reader. You can download the MSI file by selecting enterprise downloads from the Foxit website or use another MSI based application installer. We'll click on select the app package file. From here, we'll select the file. Here's the Foxit PDF MSI file. We'll open that and click OK. We get some information fields. Some have been updated for us. Let's update the publisher name to Foxit. That field is required. Next, we'll add command line arguments. We want the install to run silently and not require user interaction. For this application, the silent install switch is forward slash quiet. The silent install switch may be different for other applications. You can usually find the silent install command line arguments in the application documentation. There's additional information we can add to the package, such as an information or privacy URL, the developer, owner, and notes, and we can add a logo. Fill them in as needed and click next to assignments. We can set this application to required for user or devices. We can make it available to enroll devices or uninstall an application. Let's set this application as required for an MDM user group. So this is a user group. We'll select. 
We'll go next to review and create. That brings us to the details on the application. If that all looks good, let's create. That adds the application. It will take some time to upload, depending on the size of the application, install file, and your bandwidth. The application has uploaded. Let's go back to Apps, Windows, and there's the application. Now that we have the application added and assigned, let's log into a client and verify it's installed. Here we are logged into the client. The desktop shortcut for the Foxit PDF reader is showing. That's a good sign. We can open it and run the app. So that's great, but I need to point out that this did not just happen. It can take quite some time for an application to install. I ran a manual sync and restarted the client a couple times to get the application to install and show it's installed in the portal. I'll show how to do a manual sync in a second. That's fine for a lab where we're in control of the client and want to test things quickly. But keep in mind that there is a delay when pushing out applications to production. If we go to the Intune Company Portal, the Intune Company Portal is available from the Windows Store. From the Company Portal, go to Downloads and Updates. It shows Foxit PDF Reader is installed. And because it has the required assignment, we can't modify the app. And if you do need to run a manual sync, let's go to Settings. And in Settings, we can run a manual sync. Let's go back to the Intune portal. Here we are in the portal. Let's go to Apps. We'll go to Windows. Open Foxit Reader. And there it shows Foxit Reader is installed on one device. That is how we create and deploy an MSI application. That is how to add an MSI line of business application to Intune and create a required assignment. I hope this helps you deploy applications in Intune. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.